Hi, and welcome to the muscular system. Okay, kidding aside. The muscular system. If you're joining us from the histology portion, then we're going to keep on going. You've already covered the histology part of the skeletal muscle, the smooth muscle, and the cardiac muscle. If you've already watched the videos in the skeletal system, or excuse me, the muscular system section, then you should be familiar and this is just a continuation. The muscular system, even though we have skeletal, smooth, and cardiac, we predominantly focus on skeletal muscle. We take a look at cardiac in the cardiovascular sections and the smooth in other sections. So the muscular system is the skeletal muscle world. Typically what winds up happening is students get through the skeletal system. They go, oh, I'm done with the bones. Wow. And then they get to the muscular system and they go, oh, I missed the skeletal system. There's over 600 muscles in the body, folks, and I don't think we know all of them yet. Luckily for you, you don't have to know all 600. Later on in these videos, I actually will narrow down the list quite a bit to the muscles that most universities, most colleges focus on. If you're in a medical program, if you're in an actual nursing program or a physical therapy program or a physician's assistance or a medical program or osteopath or chiropractic or whichever program you're in, you will have to know more of these muscles. But this is a good intro for those of you in undergrad. So over 600 muscles, the functions of the muscles are pretty cool. The functions of the muscle are to provide movement, both internal and external. So external movement, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running. Gotta love green screen. That's external movement, okay? Internal movement, okay, that's my imitation of swallowing there. Um, internal movement, I have movement inside my body, okay? So that's movement that's going on with the skeletal system. The next one we have is stabilizing the joint. Previous videos, you took a look at the joint. For example, this joint, the glenohumeral joint, the shoulder joint. We have a group of muscles called the rotator cuff muscles, the sit, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapularis. Don't worry, we'll cover it later. But this grouping of muscles, the rotator cuff muscles, holds the shoulder steady. It stabilizes the shoulder. If you're a baseball fan, when they pitch the ball, that's the muscles that they're using, okay? It's the rotator cuff muscles. I know I'm oversimplifying this if you're an anatomy professor out there, but you learn somewhere too, darn it. So it stabilizes the joint. It will maintain posture, okay? If you remember your childhood, your parents told you, sit up straight, don't slouch. So you sat up straight and you walked around with good posture. Your back erect, your head held up high, okay? This is maintaining posture. Right now, as I'm talking to you, my erector spinae muscles, my back muscles are holding me up. In addition, I have foot muscles that are contracting, I have leg muscles that are contracting, I have thigh muscles that are contracting. All of these are helping me maintain posture. The other one is to control body openings. Sphincters. It's just a fun word to say. Say it with me. Sphincter. Sphincter. Okay. Sphincter muscles open and close openings. We have three sphincter muscles. We have one here, we have one here, and we have one elsewhere. Those control openings. We also have the ability to generate heat. Muscles produce a ton of heat. If, for example, you are a runner and it's a fall day in the north area of the world, okay, it gets a little cold in the fall, and you're probably not going to wear a very heavy jacket while you go running because as you run, your body generates heat. So once again, lots of muscles in the body and the functions are produce movement, both internal and external, stabilizes the joint, maintains posture, controls body openings. Say it with me again. You know you want to. Sphincter. And it generates heat. Our next video, we're going to take a look at fascia.